Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, I wanted to show you a step-by-step -step procedure mixing ClickSense apps with app automation to send a personalized email to a customer regarding their order. So to get started, we're gonna go into our ClickSense SaaS tenant and I'm gonna add a new automation. And we're gonna give this automation a name. We're gonna call this one Send Customer orders and just click save. Okay, we're gonna leave it right at this point here. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna open up another tab with my ClickSense SaaS tenant and we're gonna create a new app. And we're gonna call this one log customer orders and we're going to put it in the do more with click space and click create. So we're going to add data. Here I'm going to go to my personal space where I have a Dropbox connection where we have the sample data files. And we will select test data CSV. So this has our sales record number, order number, buyer username, buyer name, buyer email, paid on date, ship by date, and status. So this is basically going to be the app that we're going to access with Click App Automation. Here we'll just go into Edit the Sheet, grab a table object, and we can start adding some dimensions. Let's say the sales record number and then we'll grab the buyer name, order number, buyer email, paid on date, ship by date, and status. Okay, so we're gonna leave that for now. Now we're gonna to go to app automation. Let me just name this, call this one customer information. Okay, now back within app automation, we have our start block. And the way we are going to kick this off is we're going to set it for triggered because we're going to use these URLs. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to link this ClickSense app to this app automation. Okay, so the thing I want to do is I want to use that URL and pass this information along. But I want to protect this information. I don't want to pass it along the wire. All I want to do is pass the sales record number. So we need to specify an input because what we're going to do is create a link within this report that we can send to kick off app automation to send the email. So in this case here, we're going to create an input for sales record number. So I search for my input blocks. I attach my input block. Now there's a number of different inputs that we can define. In this case here, it's just going to be a labeled input, but you could set, for example, multiple input lines, uh, like a, a JSON payload, all that type of stuff. But in here, we're just gonna give this label, sales rec num. And that's all we're gonna do there. And when we go to the start block, you can see that the actual URL is starting to build with the parameters. So now you can see sales rec num is here. Okay, so if we wanted to, we can grab this URL, go back to our app, and we're gonna grab our email once again, and just add that at the end. And we're gonna put the label as send message. And instead of the actual email, again, in this case here, we're just gonna use a single text to say send, for example. Okay, and then we're going to make the representation here a link. And now we're going to provide the URL. Okay, so that's the URL. So we're going to equals single quote, single quote, next line. And now we're going to append the sales record number. Okay, so when we click on done, 
the URL that's going to trigger, you can see at the end of the URL, it says 2885, 2886, 2887. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do for the ClickSense app. Now we need to finish the app automation. So now we can go to our Click Cloud Services blocks. And what we want to do is we basically want to filter off of that input for a particular app. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at the various blocks that we have to get data. And there's one for uh, selecting. So I'm going to search on select. And there it is, select field value. And as I connect these blocks, you can see we can see which input we're going to use. So first we need to select the app ID and we're going to do a do lookup. And if you remember, we called it blog. So I'm typing in blog and there's our app. And then the field name we want, we can do another lookup. Select the field, sales record number. And then the value in this case here is going to be from the input that we select that's going to come across. And you can see in this case here, sales rec number, user input. Okay, so when we pass that value over, it's going to pass that value to the uh, field value. And you can see this by going into a output block. And we'll just grab output. And now we can do like a test run. So now we can go in here and click send you can see it returns true. Now we could also look at the history of the output block once it's executed and you can see the return is true as well. Okay, So this means that the record number that we sent over is valid and is going to filter that table down. Now we can see more of this by going into our Click Cloud services and now we're going to get the straight table data. So we're going to use another block and all information is on our help site as well as YouTube on all the things you can do with click app automation I'm just again doing just a subset of something so here I'm gonna get straight table data I'm going to delete that we don't need that this block here anymore select our app ID do lookup customer orders, select our sheet ID, my new sheet, and select our object ID. And there's the customer information table. Okay, once again, just do a click output block actually. You could save this. Now you could run this real time as well. Okay, just to show you how you could run it. So 2885, when I click on run, you'll see it prompts you. So we can type in the number here as well. And now we can look at the chronological steps. And we can see everything has run successfully. And then you could also see the output displayed in the output tab. Okay, so now we got that data coming in for that particular record. If we wanted to do 2886, click Submit. And now we have the record for 2886. So now we have that comfort that our automation is working as expected. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to send an email. So I'm going to go and grab my mail block. Send mail. And I'm going to connect it right here. Now I already have a connection defined. This is just a standard SMTP connection. I'm not going to show you that because it's got some of my credentials in there. Um, password is hidden, but I don't want to send the parameters that we have set up. But once you set up that SMTP connection, it'll be saved. So next we got to go to inputs. So you could always go to the block and look at the history and you could always grab your inputs to see what's there. So we have sales record number, buyer name, order number, buyer email, so all you have to do is really select, it's point and click, no code approach to defining this. So for two, we're going to go get item from straight table and select buyer email. For subject, we're going to type in regarding your order space and then the little drop down 
item in get straight table and then select the order number type it can be HTML in this case to keep it simple just text and then we can start typing our message hello space item in get straight table buyer name now it's very important to hit space or enter at a certain point to make sure that the message is formatted properly in this case here we just want to hit enter and then we can start typing in thank you for your purchase your order status is space and now we can start selecting again those fields space you paid on and I select paid on and your item is due to ship on if you have any questions please be sure to contact us and reference oops order number thank you regards Mike okay so that's your message so we click Save now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring up the email addresses that we have. I'm just going to do a split screen so you can see this happen in real time. So make sure to save your automation and then go to your app and then when I click on send it's going to send a personalized email for the record that we're displaying here. And there we go. Hello, Sam Jones. Thank you for your purchase. Your order status is in progress. You paid on this date, and your item is due to ship on that date. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact us and reference your order number. And just to see it again, we're going to do a different order number. This time we'll do 2886 and 2887. Refresh. And there we go. So now we have our personalized emails for our various order numbers for our customers that are listed within the ClickSense app. And the nice part about this is, as I mentioned, is that we're kicking off the Click app automation through ClickSense utilizing the triggered approach um, for the start block using the URL, and we're only passing the record number. So in other words, we're not passing any other personalized or private information over the wire and clear text, in this case, just the record number. That record number is then being filtered by the select field value. This is basically applying a filter like you would interactively do uh, within a ClickSense app. And then it t filters that data and then provides that data to me, as you see here, to send that message. Okay, guys, I hope you found this interesting and fun. Tell me about your use cases uh, that you've developed with Click App Automation. Uh, if you have more questions about this, I would suggest visiting the Click App Automation community as well as the Click Help site um, and the Click Help YouTube channel. There's a number of videos out there created by uh, our team members that are awesome and will help explain a lot about the product. Okay, other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.